Come on, you got excited. Be excited. Be, be like a woman that's pregnant for the first time. Come on. Look at that neighbor. Say, neighbor, I'm expecting. Come on, I'm expecting. Come on, I'm expecting God to do something in my life all tonight. Oh, come on, give him some praise. Give him some praise. Hallelujah. If you want something to happen in your life, you've got to expect God to do something. And not only do you got to expect it, but you got to put yourself in position to receive. See, it's just like this. It's just like this. If you ever watched a football game and the receiver is running down the field, she wants to say the quarterback don't have to look to see where the receiver is. He just throws the ball where he's supposed to be. So if you want something from God, God don't have to look to where you He know where you're supposed to. So all you got to do is get there because your blessing has already been released. It's just waiting on you to get it put. Somebody say, I'm about to get in position. I'm about to get in position. Come on, get in position. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hand and bless the Lord on tonight. Hallelujah. Look, I done got, y'all don't have to excuse me. I done got out already. I done got it. Let me loose this jacket. Hallelujah. Oh, it ain't got nothing to do with the temperature, preacher, but it got everything to do with the Holy Ghost. Oh, I wish I had a witness in here. Come on, give me some folk up in here that, that, that love the Lord. Come on, give me some folk up in here. Look, look, I'd rather have 10 folk in here that was ready for Jesus than 50 folk that just looking around. Give us somebody in here that's crazy for the Lord. Give us somebody in here that know that they need something from God. Just give us somebody in here that know that I'm just
some of y'all looking here that's some things in your life that you wish would die and at the same time there's some things in your life that are dead that you wish was alive find yourself struggling with the very thing that you wish was dead am I preaching in here yeah while struggling and pleading with God and trying to compromise and, and trying to come to some agreement with God that you want certain things to live. Mm. Well, I come to tell you tonight that you don't have to worry anymore. Ah. Oh. The Lord sent me to tell you that, guess what? The very thing that's dead in your life yeah. that ought not to be dead, God said tonight is going to leave. Yeah. Look at your neighbor say, neighbor, it's going to leave. Come on, look at your neighbor say, neighbor, it's going to leave. Come on, say, my pocketbook been dead for too long, it's going to leave. Come on, say, my marriage been dead for too long, it's going to leave. Come on, somebody look at that neighbor say, neighbor, my children been dead for too long, but they shall leave. Come on, somebody look at your neighbor say, neighbor, everything that was dead in my life, by the power of God and the blood of Jesus, it shall live. Oh, come on, give God some praise if you believe that. Turn your Bibles with you very, very quickly, very quickly, very quickly. Before I get started, is uh, what's the brother's name you got in the down? The brother that called on the radio. Is he here tonight? Demetrius. Brother said he was going to try everything he could to get here. He ain't here yet. Hallelujah. That brother said he was an evangelist. Told that brother, I said, brother, if you can make it here tonight, they got a $50 seed with your name on it. See, that's what I was just talking about. Yeah. I don't have to know where you at on the field. I'm going to throw the pass to where you're supposed to be. That's all you can do, Doc. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I got to obey God right quick. It's not on my duty. No, sir. Oh, man. Well, y'all see my wallet, sir. Yeah, y'all need to be shouting like, oh, no, preacher, we don't mind. <laughs> we don't mind. We don't mind. We don't mind. We don't mind. I got the fifty dollars for the brother that's gonna be supposed to come here tonight. But I also got another seed. Yeah. I need to plant a seed. What well, that sister? Come here, sister. You right here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I'm right. sowing this seed into you. Yeah. Because I need God to do some things in my life. Yeah. But I'm really sowing this into you because you're not the type of person you ain't going to ask nobody for nothing. Hallelujah. You're just going to do it. And you're going to do the very best that you can. Yeah. And sometimes you're not appreciated. But God said on tonight, you're appreciated. Yeah. God said, I appreciate you. Now watch this here. Watch this here. Right. God said, if you diligently seek me, yeah. I am a rewarder. So God said tonight I'm rewarding you But he said it's not going to stop there He said if you continue to seek me The vehicle that you've been asking me for The release that you've been He said you're going to get it God said your service has not been gone
free. <laughs> <laughs>